G'day everyone, welcome to Two Clicks Up. And uh, firstly, I want to uh, first mention, uh, just this week I've uh, passed 500 subscribers, so thanks to everybody to, uh, for all their support and good wishes, good comments, etc., etc. Let's just keep kicking it on, because it's, uh, it's going gangbusters now, so it's good. So what I'm gonna do for, uh, for 500 is a the dreaded unboxing video. Uh, these things get mixed response at best. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I've got a number of these scopes and I've, I've got another one that's in the box. I thought I might as well do a, uh, a video on it. Um, it's the Vortex a Copperhead a Rifle Scope, 4 to 12 by 44. It's got the uh, dead old beast BDC uh, reticle. I'll put a picture of the reticle up shortly. Now I'll give you the, um, before I unbox it, I'll give you the uh, all the rhubarb on it. It's a one inch tube scope. Uh, it's 13.5 inches or 343 mil long. 15.8 uh, ounces in weight or 448 grams. And the eye relief is, and this is one of the things I do like about the Vortex scope, it's got a four inch eye relief, um, or 101 mils. So basically your, your eyes nice and far away from it, so you're really not going to, um, you're really not gonna get scoped in the melon with it, no matter what bigger, uh, how what size rifle you put on. As with all the Vortex, um, all the Vortex uh, scopes, they've all got a, uh, the unconditional lifetime warranty, no questions asked, all that rhubarb. So, one Stanley knife, let's get into it. So let's see what's in the box. There's something in there. Righty ho. Here she comes, there she be. Right, this is how they come packed in their little cardboard box, bit of that cool light stuff. And the scope standard packaging, nothing flash about that. Okay, we've got the scope, what have we got here? Little, little cleaning cloth, Vortex cleaning cloth, we've got heaps of them. We've got the, uh, what have we got here, the destruction manual. And, uh, holy snap and duck feathers, that one, this one, is in English. So, uh, winner, she's in English. Uh, some sort of a little sticker here, don't know what that's about. And, um... What else have we got here? A little, the little product manual. So, again, in English. This is all. This is all good so far. So I'll put all that rhubarb aside there for a while. We will get to what matters, and that's the scope. Come to get this. Uh, like in the factory, puts the rubber bands on everything. Ties the Christmas toys into the boxes. He's a good bloke. Okay, so that's how she basically comes out like that. Or like that. These really nice heavy duty uh, covers on them, so we'll boot them off. Right there, now we've got a little rub, little band warning. Attention, to properly mount your rifle scope, we highly recommend using an inch pound torque wrench. Do not exceed 18 inch pounds of torque on the ring screws, that's the ring cap screws. Nothing higher, nothing worse than 18 pounds on them. Inch, uh, inch pounds, not foot pounds. You put foot pounds on these, you'll crush them to death. So there we go, nice plastic bag. And that's our scope as he sits. So we'll take the, uh, take the turret caps off. Off they come. Very, ba very basic turrets. They're, they're a basic, they're a very basic rifle scope. Now these clicks on this, I hope you can hear this. You may not be able to. They're nice positive clicks, you can hear them and you can feel them. So that's not gonna, not gonna cause you any grief. You've got your, uh, your power adjusting ring there it's firm but easy to turn and with your uh, your uh, ocular lens there undo him there and that's just your focus in and out and they're, they're pretty they're, they're pretty good out of the box you really don't have to do too much so I find now there are fixed parallax in these the parallax is fixed at 100 yards and that's and that's fine as I say they're a uh, pardon me they're a hunting rifle scope I've had these on everything from 17 calibers right up to 3006, I've never, ever, ever hurt one. <coughs> they can cop all the recoil, cop all the punishment you can dish out to them. They don't lose zero. They're a very easy scope to zero. They don't lose zero. And you can you can knock them around with big guns and, and, and throw them in and out of trucks. Nothing really happens to them. The glass on these things is very, it's extremely clear. Um, everything looks good in bright sunlight. Everything looks good under a spotlight. 
have a look through these things right at the very last light of the day. I look out the, I look out my uh, my shed door down to the highway that's a good good kilometre plus away and I, I think it's more a kilometre and a half and I can easily see traffic going past and I can easily read signs on the back of trucks, uh, on the truck trailers with that so there's absolutely no issue there whatsoever with that. Now these are, these are cap turrets. Okay, it's, oh my God, that, that's, that's nice and easy. That's all, all basic, all very basic hunting stuff. As I said, they're a one inch aluminium tube. Um, they've all got the fog proof and all the O-ring seals, all, all the rhubarb, all the rhubarb they've, uh, all the good scopes have got now. And they've got this lifetime warranty. Now I picked this one up from Cleaver Firearms over at Redcliffe and it cost me $199. Okay, so $199 for a scope that you really can't hurt that and for a hunting rifle scope with a lifetime warranty, not bad. I, I, I reckon you really, for a, it's really hard to toss for a for a hunting rifle scope. So I'm going to throw this one on a uh, on a two two three. I've got a two two three in there, uh, um, desperately in need of a scope. So it can have this one, and um, we'll see uh, we'll see how it goes because I'll get that two two three and I'll shoot it in with this scope. It shouldn't take too long. I've, I've shot that in before, so it'll be okay. So um, that's all I've got. That's all I've got for everyone today. That's your Vortex Copperhead four to twelve by forty four um, rifle scope. Absolutely lovely scope. Couldn't recommend them highly enough. If you, uh, if they're not going to break the bank. If you want to get over to Cleavers and grab one, they've got a few in stock at the moment. So get over there and grab yourself one. So that's it from me today. Until next time, as I say, you tell your wife, you tell your girlfriend, you tell them both. For all I care, watch the fireworks. Just always go two clicks up. Ta-da.